given a plank of wood and some tools, what furniture would you design to tell your story? A lot of people thought I was crazy, choosing to join a sunset industry like carpentry. Woodworking in Singapore is very, very different as compared to overseas. So if you see overseas, you can see them taking pride in their woodworkers. You see them um, celebrating these woodworkers. But in Singapore, it's a bit different. There isn't as much credit given to the craftsmen. Roger and Son is a family business. When it's a family business and knowing that my two other brothers are involved, it's like putting all the eggs into one basket. If the company fails, the whole family fails. Even before like, it was set in stone that we were taking over the company when my dad was diagnosed with cancer, I already knew that I was going to join the family business. It was just a matter of time. Taking over the business, learning from the ground up, I think that was, a, that was one of the biggest challenges we had. It was very difficult for us to go out to our suppliers you know, and gain their trust because the suppliers see three young boys and then they think like, you know, you're doing an FYP or you know, you're just like an intern. When we took over the business, we rebranded and then we changed, we changed our business model as well. So it was a bit difficult. Because, I mean, it's in human nature to be resistant to change. Nobody really loves change, right? A good furniture, firstly, has to fit well. In the sense, it has to fit your body well. It has to fit the room well. The design process uh, into crafting something at Roger & Sons mainly revolves around three main factors. So it will be form, functionality and aesthetic. We pay close attention to every single detail, right down to the meticulous level of uh, what kind of screws we use, what kind of joints we use. We try to build something that lasts rather than something that's fast furniture, something that will be able to be passed through generations to be somewhat similar as an heirloom. Client come to us most of the time, it's, um, we will ask them, you want this dining table in like a Japanese kind of design or you want it in a Scandinavian kind of design, mid-century. The other things we would need to ask is, let's say, um, there are certain kinds of um, material they want to use. So what kind of wood you want to use, be it angsana, be it kaya or rain tree. Every day, in the whole of Singapore, there is about 100 trees getting chopped down. In the next 15 years, there's going to be 15,000 trees getting chopped down. So with that being said, there's a vast amount of trees getting chopped down. These trees that are chopped down, that are felt, they are mainly for two reasons, for new development or they are a safety hazard. So there is this vast amount of trees there. So what's the point of us importing wood when there is this stockpile of material that we are able to use? That's where the local tree project grew. The tree that we get a lot is angsana, which is brown red-ish. The other one is kaya. Kaya is mahogany. And then we have rain tree. Rain tree, we call it Asian walnut. Back in the 80s, Singapore didn't have enough trees, right? So what they did was they took a bunch of trees from Africa and brought over to Singapore. And they plant them here. That's why kaya has this red hue to it, because it's mahogany wood. Lah. In order for us to really push local tree project further, what we had to do is to know the material even more. And that's why we did our R&D, our research and development. Learn more about the material. So let's say angsana is better for indoor, kaya is better for outdoor. From there, when we learn more about the material, we learn the technical specs of it, it's easier for us to know if let's say a, a deck chair that's going to be next to a swimming pool, what kind of material can we use? What kind of material should we avoid? We also work towards densifying the material. So if let's say the material is weak outdoors, what we can do is to densify the material to make it stronger, to make it hardier. Sometimes when we glue two pieces of wood or this adhesive that we use, that is high in VOC. VOC stands for Volatile Organic Compound. So these are harmful to humans when you smell it. So we try to move away from these expendables that are high in VOC. We are working with a local beekeeper and when he extract the honey, he will take these beeswax and pass it to us. And with these beeswax, we'll make our own beeswax finish that we can apply on our furniture. And beeswax is very good because beeswax is organic. You know, you can eat it and totally be fine with it. A lot of people don't realise that some of these trees actually, they have been in existence longer than Singapore's independence. 
I mean the ultimate dream is that when a tree gets chopped down, we geotag the tree. And when we geotag the tree, you know where the tree is from. So let's say you receive this table from us and you know, okay, this one, you key in the, the, the tag and then you know, okay, this one is actually from Bedok Reservoir at this point. It preserves the history of the wood. It's a long and tedious process, but it is a very, very fulfilling one. Seeing the item and seeing the furniture finally at the client's place, it brings a smile to my face. It's a very, very satisfying moment. I think design is about telling a story and trying to build a relationship, to build that bond, to create something that's intangible that I think is very, very important. In life, if we, if we don't have things like that, it's, it removes the romance of life. Like, life is just going to be very mundane. When you are drawing something that's unconventional, when it's very different from what everybody is doing, you second-guess yourself because of what people think about you. But half the time, people don't really you know, think about you. Follow your heart your soul and follow what it tells you and then from there I mean it's easier for you to craft your own path. Put your heart and soul into what you do, you can craft your own path. Thank you.